everybody and welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Uncle Larry and you're going to be building with me. Well, not really. You're going to be watching me build. I bought a cart for the zero turn mower. Which we did get back from Joe. Yes. I caught up to him. He, Tom turned the camera off, but I got him, wrestled him, threw him on the ground, kicked him a few times, gave him the old elbow smash, and I got my mower back. He might still be laying in the driveway. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked down there lately. But anyway. So As you can see, the lawnmower is over there. Yes. So anyway, what I did is I, I ordered this because, um, you know, like moving the firewood, Tom struggles with the, he's not very good at all with a wheelbarrow. You don't think I'm good all. at anything. Well, the wheelbarrow, you aren't, you know that. You're, you're really. Yeah, but still. Yeah, I mean, he still uses it, but he's just not as good. This will make his job so much easier. He can just park it over there, load up this cart, and drive over there, dump the wood stack it easy peasy like in, in a lot of different stuff we can use it for moving trash from you know i uh, got some dead branches over there to move them in the back when tom rakes up all the leaves and puts them in the back you can put them in the cart dump them in the back stuff like that anyway it looks pretty complicated there's a lot of pieces here as you can see uh well there's not a lot right here but if you look up here on here look at all these pieces so the tools for this job are as follows. You're gonna need a pair of pliers like this. Well, not like this, but like that. But I like these a little bit better. You're gonna need a screwdriver. Now look, look at this picture. It looks almost like a regular screwdriver, doesn't it? But it's actually a Phillips that you need, okay? You're gonna need a 7 16 wrench. Now, I wanted to use a ratchet instead of a wrench, so that's why I got this. And you're gonna need a half inch and a 9 16 Well, I have both of them on these so on this tool right here and then you're going to need this well this came with it and i suspect and this is my guess that this is going to be a spring puller that makes sense I haven't got to that point yet but i'm pretty sure that's what it is so okay so now i'm going to put my tools aside one of the things i noticed is like th there was a lot of parts in this so what i did is and you should always do this because what I found, and I, I got my other rack over there, you can't really see it, but. Sorry, there's a bee. Tack it, Tom. Get him. I hit him. Where'd he go? Uh, He's going to be angry. Right there, right, right foot. That's not him. No. No, it was a yellow jacket. Uh, That's one I killed earlier. Well, I don't know where it went then. He flew somewhere. He's going to get back. He's going to be angry. He's probably going to sting you. Because he thinks it was you. Sorry about that, guys. This is what happens when you... Yellow jacket season. Worst season ever. It's like they're a little loopy. Want to sting you real bad because they know they're going to die anyway. So they might as well take you out too. Anyway, when I was building that, it was missing four little brackets like this. So I fabricated them, made them myself. Um, this is what happens when you order online. And you order things that were made in China. Where was this made? Let's see, uh, well it says it was printed in the USA, but uh, I don't know, we'll get to that point at some point. Anyway, so your part list here, what I did is I, as I put the parts down, I checked each one to make sure that I had them, and I have all the parts. So, yeah. that's kind of important, they tell you to do that, most of the times I do not. So our first step, look at all these steps guys, look, 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 oh my gosh, does that seem intimidating? A little bit. Well, I'm not worried about it. I'm yeah, sure I'll put something people. together wrong and I'll have to re-put it together. Best thing is pictures. Pictures. That's my kind of reading right there. So let's get to the first step. So what we're going to need here, guys, is the 7 16 nut and bolt. These have lock washers in the inside. That's what those little plas plastic things are or lock bolts. I don't know what they exactly call them, but it's like you don't need a lock washer with this when you have them on there. Um, so these are going to go through this like so. And this is really hot because uh, I kind of uh, left it sitting out in the sun, waiting for Tom to come out and film. The only thing is like when you get to a certain point, they just stop because you can't go any further with them things. So it's a little hard to line these up like this, but there we go. And there should be four of these. Or three, in this case, because that's all I see, three holes. 
Must be only three. All right, I thought there was four. So next step, make sure you have it on the tightened side. This is what they have the pliers for. Now, if you have two wrenches, you can just use them instead of, uh, instead of this. Oh, this seems a lot easier. What's that? This seems a lot easier. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna continue to, to tighten these until they're all tightened and then we'll go into the next step. As you can see, these are all tightened up now, all three yeah. of them. So the next part is this guy right here. And this is going to match up with this. So and we already double checked the instructions. Yes. So I know that this is the right way. And they're gonna go through like that. And Yeah, and you want to make sure that the, the bolts are going through this way because because otherwise they're going to step up into the cart. Yeah, exactly. Trying okay, to put stuff in the cart and then yeah. it doesn't work as well. Yeah, that would be not so good. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to put each each piece in my pocket so I can just reach there so it kind of holds it. And now you know, getting those two in like that will will hold that good enough where. I've just got to go to the next ones where, where they are. I'm not going to tighten these all the way up because I don't think you're supposed to yet, but I could be wrong. We'll go to the next step and take a look at, look at that. And here is the last one. And the reason why I think that is because if you look here, guys, there's a hole right here still and a hole here. Well, what's going on with them? Or are they just for uh, maybe it's possible that they're they're just for drainage I don't know we'll find out so this is the next step guys you're gonna take this piece right here and it's gonna go like this and take one of your pay attention which which bolts it's telling you to, to use here yeah these pieces are a case of you really got to look closely at the instructions and even at the next step to figure out what it's supposed to do yes now, if you see us all of a sudden doing a dance, it's only because we are getting attacked by yellow jackets. I've all, I killed one, and uh, the other ones, I've some of them I've hit, and it's killed, also very windy outside too, guys. Killed one, wounded at least two. Yeah. And if you're ever drinking outside, one of the things you should always do is like make sure there's no bees. I'd rather get stung on the lip than the tongue, so I kind of let it hit my my lips first. Yeah. Um, when you're when you're old, you you learn this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see how there was that uh like L shape that went over it. At first, we thought that that was going on the outside, so yes. it's actually hanging there. Yes. This, that's not this the case. piece is a little confusing because it looks like it can go this way. It looks like it can go this way, uh, but that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look nice that way. So, so finally, we we realize okay, it goes like this. Looks best and works yes. best when set up like this. Now this is a little tight where these, this, this on the outside is fine, but on the inside, it's a little tight to get in there. So I might not be able to use, well, I could use this on the outside. I'm not going to use those, be able to use those type of pliers on the out, on the inside though, I don't think. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this one because I can. The other ones I'm still not going to because I'm still not sure what's going on with these other holes that are up there. You see them, Tom? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I just want to make sure that I don't get to a, get to a point. I'm not going to tighten this completely all the way because, again, there's other pieces that obviously, obviously go the in jack behind you. It's on your knee. Get off my knee. Get Two down. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, that's like at least the fifth or sixth one now. We're gonna be dealing with that all day today. They're getting, they know what's coming. They know winter's coming, so they're they're a little agitated and going after us. So I'm gonna tighten that one a little bit and then we can go to the next step. So remember I mentioned the whole, uh, they look, or the uh, scale matches up in the parts list? 
Yeah, I guess that didn't happen before we put these in, did it? Hey, remember how I mentioned how I'll probably have to take something apart and put it back together? Well, listen, we gotta redo step one. Not hard though, guys, because you know what? I already have this other bracket to hold it together up at the top, right? So you actually could have did that first. It doesn't really matter, does it? I imagine doing it this way made it easier to have to put the bracket on. Yeah, so the problem was with this, guys, is I didn't notice this. And this is my, this is my, totally my fault. Is that this one, if you can see it, is longer than this one. Not by much, but... By enough. By enough. So you're supposed to use these for this. Which I guess would make, and, well not the wrong size nut though. See, and that's the problem. They, they put the same things in the same bag. Two different sizes. They could have had them in two different bags. So, they're the same size as far as the, uh, the things that you're gonna need with your pliers and, and the 7 16 for your, for this part. Oh. So here I go again. Now I'll meet you when we're ready back to uh, progress. Yeah. So the next step, guys, is right here. These two and these two, right? So for now, I'm just going to line these up like so. Now it shows you in the in the directions. It shows you one and then one, and then the other one and the other one. But you can do these at the same time. Really, it's it could have been all been in the uh, same step. These are the longer ones, right, Tom? Yes, those are the J's, because yeah. three of them you just took out from the center bit. Why did you have to film that part, though? It's like, no, we want to keep it real with you guys. Like, mistakes happen, and that's what I, why I wanted to show this kind of these kind of videos with you guys, is that, you know, people people make mistakes when they're, they're doing this stuff, and you don't have to feel dumb or anything like that. I mean, it's just what happens. I mean, well, there's a little... You know, it would be an inchworm. Can you see it? Oh, it's floating away. But that's like a, uh, a millimeter worm. He must be metric. <laughs> so, do this. And this is what I was saying about, you know, that's why I didn't tighten this whole thing up right here because I knew that there was a lot more holes here that there's other bolts that are gonna get in here. And, uh, and I still think there's gonna be one here and here naturally, so. We're gonna to have to get to them too, but Probably. we're gonna go step by step with what it's saying right now. When did this even get here anyway? Huh? Like, wh when did this get here? Because I've oh, looked yeah. up and looked outside and there was. So wheels. I ordered it from Amazon yesterday and we got it today at 7 30 in the morning and it scared the crap out of me because I heard my driveway alarm went off. And my driveway alarm, when it works properly, and this is a brand new one too, it says it actually talks first. And with crap that's been going on in the house, it, I'm on high, my nerves, it went, um, what is it? It says, it says channel, channel four. four. Yeah, it says yeah. channel four. And then plays a, uh, a little jingle. A little jingle afterwards. But it says channel four. Because there is four different channels on there channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. And it just, it talks. And that's the part that really makes me, me jump. Because not liking talking. All right, guys, so let's get to the next step. Next step, guys, is this part right here, and these are going to go on the inside. I'm going to put these right here, and there should be. Are you absolutely sure that that's how it's supposed to be oriented? Yeah, it's not, it's I'm not absolutely. The, the other way, positively. All right. So I know I didn't. Oh, look. wait a second. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Instead of the opposite way, yeah, if it was the opposite way, this would be sticking way up above this. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, okay, okay. But you did, you know, you did right. You made sure that I double checked before I actually tightened everything up or anything, you know? And that's what you got to do. Because I know I didn't look. So then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, guys. It's a little breezy today. It windy. We're supposed to get thunderstorms today. Possibility of uh, tornadoes, but it's only slight. Hopefully we Now wait, isn't that upside down now? Why Tom, yes, it is. Not, now I really, I have to triple check now. Yeah, that's what the picture shows. 
Good job, Tom. Would have had yet another thing to uh, to take apart, huh? I'm dyslexic guy, so everything looks backwards to me to begin with. Seriously, I think I have a little dyslexia, but not, I don't think I'm real bad. All right, so I still don't want to tighten everything up up here because I'm still not sure of every, there's a lot of holes going on right here, a lot of holes. So let's go to the next step. I thought you weren't tightening them up. Yeah, well what happens is I, I went on in the directions further and it says that we have to actually flip this over. Oh. So I don't I guess see, we're done with this. Yeah, thing. and I, so I, I, I don't think we're done because we have to put the back panel on here, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, true. And here's one of the other things, guys, I don't like. I'm gonna switch my hands here, but uh, I don't like screws like this, you know, for bolts. Now I understand why they have it. They have it so that you can use a rounded one, right? But it's like, no. Um, but it's like, it's harder to hold something with a screw head on it than it is to hold something with a pair of pliers to keep it from spinning. It's a shame they don't have like a brace screwdriver, you know? Yeah. Like a screwdriver specifically designed that has like a like a cup around where the. Uh... Well, Tom, you you like engineering? Not at all, because you didn't do good in engineering. Besides, this isn't the engineering I went for anyway. It should have been. You'd have been good at it. Just saying. So I'm going to continue to tighten all these up now. Have fun with this screwdriver thing. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this until these are all tight and then we'll go on to the next step. First thing you gotta do is flip this thing all the way over, guys, so that all that stuff that you did is down there now. Now, you get to take the back piece, which is going to go like so. And now, the easy part is, let me see where these bolts go, on the inside and there. Okay. Inside to out. Okay, so. Very, very inside, right? Yeah, so it's these two right here for now, which is right here. Is this the right ones? Uh, yeah, yeah I yeah, believe okay. it's the center looking ones. All right. You should, they don't have the round ones in this? You'd think for the inside, they'd have the round ones like that. You'd think so, but it says A. Let me just double check Tom for this. Because all the rest the of the, all the rest of the, uh, all the other, all eight other C pieces. Huh? Where do they go at? They all go across the middle for when we uh, put on that big piece that's behind you. Oh, uh, okay. So there are these four down here. Is that all? That's okay. I got you. That's weird that they stick stick these in the back. Huh? All right, well, that's what we're going to do. We follow the directions, right, Tom? Yep. And the other two are just the ones on the side, right? Yep, the ones on the side. I think the center side is, piece. Yeah, is it, which one is it on the side here? Just in the center. Okay. Yep. So in the center, let me see if I can right there. Now, guys, this, this cart supposedly holds up to a... Uh, 700, 750 pounds, supposedly. So, uh, I'm sure we'll find out. Right, Tom? Yep. There we go, and now I can tighten all these things up. We have that all tightened up now, guys. Next step is this guy right here. Now, this is where you're gonna need two people for this, because what it is, is this is going to go like this, right? So you gotta put these and it's gonna be these four right here. But, one person's gotta be on one side, one person's gonna be the other, so Tom's gonna put down the camera, and then we'll show you how it looks after we get it done. So guys, what I did is I was on the inside, I pushed the bolt through, Tom held this in place, he put the nuts on so that we have it lined up there. Now we gotta go along and, and, and uh, uh, tighten all these. Here's the thing though, this is where you're gonna need two people for this because 
I can't reach my arm all the way around there. Now, if you're too tall Jones or somebody that's really tall and you got really long arms, you probably can go over there and do this, but I can't, I got little short arms. Um, I'm like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Got a big head, little arms. Anyway, so Tom's gonna, he's gonna either hold this end or tighten them up while I do the opposite. So while we're doing that, guys, Tom's gonna turn the camera off and we'll show you the next step after that. We'll catch you once it's tightened. Yes. So guys, uh, this is a little tedious, but I just wanted to show you what I can do here. Is like I can get these end ones, I just can't get the middle ones too well. And actually, I might even be able to get them, but I'm using this the side of the side as a leverage and I'm just a ratchet with my screwdriver bit in it so that I can use that as a leverage right up against the side. So all I'm doing is really working on this side right here. Now, very effective brakes. Now, on this part right that's coming up, I could, I actually found out that I can reach it. It's just really it's, annoying. It's a little cumbersome yeah. on this, especially with a screwdriver. This part is a little bit more difficult than anything else. You can't do it. It's a little bit harder than the ones on the side because you can't see. So you're kind of working blind. But you can do it by yourself, I found. So, you, but, but to line these things up to begin with, you definitely need somebody's hand for that part. So, it's probably the, I, I think it might be the only part that you actually need two people to do it. I'm not really sure. Or it would just be really convoluted if you want to try it solo. And, see? That's the problem, you can't see so it slips off. Yep. Tom's afraid that there's gonna be a bee flying around him. They're all over the place today. Two more to go. And then it might be time for a little break. Next part we're gonna put on is this guy right here. Now, make sure you don't put it on the wrong way. Very important. Picture shows it on the bottom. So if it's wrong, it's the picture's fault. This is gonna be another one of those parts, guys, that's gonna be a little difficult to to do it by yourself, but I think I think I can manage this one. So I'm going to put it like this. Let me know if you do need a hand. And try to get a nut out. And look, see that? Aren't I special? Now I'm going to try to get around this way and do the same thing on the other side up here. Like that. Gotta remember which pocket my nuts are in. What? That didn't sound right. The fact that it took this long to actually acknowledge a joke like that is actually pretty impressive. Oh, thank you. So, might as well put these on too, and then you can go around and tighten all these up, guys. Pretty easy on this step. Most of these, I'll tell you what, so far with these directions, I really like them. They're probably some of the best directions that I've seen so far because they actually are pretty, like the pictures and everything show exact, ex exactly, exactly which way to put things on, which I really exactly like. Exactly where you need to put things. Where you put things, yeah. And uh, that's what I like, pictures. And now I'll tighten them all up. Next step, guys, is these little rounded corners right here. And we're gonna put these like this. Pretty easy step. Why? You know what, I, I'm looking at that lens, Tom, and it's it's cruddy. Is it? Do you clean them at all? I mean, that's your job, dude. Once in a while, but I it's hard to notice sometimes. It's all kinds of like sometimes. lint and dust on it. And as you can see on this one right here, you can see like the, they didn't paint it very well. Now I'm thinking it was made in America. <laughs> see like even the inside here. Oh no, that's just dust. But on the outside, it's not dust. You can see it like come over here. You can see it's not painted all the way there. Bad yeah, job. That one I think uh, the inside of it looks Yeah, looks I can good. see it didn't, didn't get painted on the inside either. But that goes to show you, it's uh, You know, and this this was uh, this cart right now um, cost me two hundred ninety nine dollars, guys, for it. That's not that cheap, you know. Um, should be 
Well, that's before tax, right? What's that? That's before tax. Yeah, but that's to me, it's like you know, when you're paying that kind of money for something, you know, you should get a, you know, I mean, it's going to do what I needed to do, but I'm just saying I shouldn't see uh, paint missing in, in an area or anything like that. That's just ridiculous. All right, guys. So my next step is going to be to tighten this all up. Tighten them up. After that's all tightened up, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this like this. And then I'm going to put this down on its backside like that. Yep, so according to the instructions, we were slightly off. That's actually the front, not the back of it. Yeah, yeah, it's the front. Makes sense. I mean, you have the label in the front. Also, we found out that it this was actually made in USA. Well, most which, of it. Uh, Huh? Well, most of it. Yeah, the tires, the tire. The wheels the of tires? China. Or, the, or made in wheels China. Wheels products of China, that's what it's Yeah. Like. But the rest of it's made in the USA, and I'll tell you what, they should be ashamed of themselves uh, with those brackets that I just put on that they weren't painted properly. Um, come on, USA, we're better than that, aren't we? So these, these little plastic things are going to go like that, right? Yep. And we're going to put this like a, like a this. Or just go like this, like that, no? Uh, it goes so that the looks like so that the back holes line up with the center ones. So these line up here. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we'll look like that. Right. Okay. Now, line that up like so. That's well. And then we have to put the axle through it, guys. Yep. <laughs> This. Put it through here. Line her up like that. Pretty simple. That's that might have been the easiest step so far. Probably. And now we'll go to the next one. So guys, this is a little complicated, right? So we, this bolt's going to go through here. But what I'm going to first do is put this nut on here, right? Um, oh, wrong other way. way. Other way. Oh, yes, I just realized that, Tom. Right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this way down right now. Okay guys, so then- We gotta leave enough room that you can- You're gonna take through. this guy, right? Now this guy is gonna come up like this. Make sure it's pointed the right way. It's gonna come up like this. Uh, like I just said. Yeah, don't, don't put it in too far. It's like a puzzle right now, guys. Put it like that, right? Go through here. Now, you're gonna have to undo it a little bit so that you can come through here eventually. Well, you gotta put the other nut on the yeah, other oh, side of it. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Tom. You could have said that first before I did that. Oh, it's down here. Now this one will go on the opposite way. This is like a puzzle right now, guys. There, now we can get it like that. Go like that, go like that. Well, that was a lot of fun. And then the nut on the end. I believe that's all the parts that we have, isn't it, Tom? Um, yeah, that should be it for this step. Yeah, that was Once fun. It's all tightened. All right, and then we're gonna tighten her all up. Fun. It just keeps going out of order with things. Shut up, Tom. <laughs> all right, you wanna make sure this is bolts all the way over on this, and then you wanna line this up. It's a little bit of a pain in the neck, guys. You gotta line that up. Like that. Tighten that. I'm trying to make sure it's in the middle of that slot right now. There and we go. And one time in this, you actually need to use an actual wrench. Yeah, I had to use, I had to, I can't find my half inch open end, so I'm using an adjustable, which is the same difference. Um, yeah, so now what I can do is actually, I can, well, not this one. It's a different one, guys. So I can actually just start tightening it up now with this. You know what? It's a little tight here, guys. So... Yeah, this could be a pain in my hiney, which I think it is. 
push. See how the arm of that? I can get it. There we go. Okay. Um, once this is tight, I don't think we have to make this extraordinarily tight. Actually, yeah, you see how that locks in there, right? Like this thing's locked in right now. Hmm. It's like, how do you get this to come off, Tom? See what I'm saying? It seems to me like, oh, it's this thing. Now it comes up. Oh, I see how it is. Guys, there it is. It's locked in there, right? But then once this gets turned like that, you can dump it. Pretty cool. Let's make sure everything's tightened up though. For this, I'm gonna use two pairs of pliers. I'm gonna use these, and I'm going to use this. But Dad, that's a wrench. These are pliers. Yes, we said two pairs of pliers. Oh. Did I say that? Yes. I just wanna make sure these are tight because I see that they get loose every now and then if I don't tighten them all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Yep. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys. That's probably, that was probably the most difficult thing I think so far on this because it was like, it's very complicated of the mechanism that the way that it works and everything. But, you know, especially you gotta put something on and get it through and then put something on and get it through and then blah, 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 all that. Have Easy your to son, mess up. Huh? Easy to mess up. And then have your know-it-all son have to tell you after you do it and everything. Multiple times. Hmm? What? All right, time for next step. Now we're ready for the spring, guys. You know what? There's a long end on here and there's a short end. Does it show which one goes where, Tom? Because that's kind of important. Uh, the long end that goes to okay. the square hole. Okay, so the, the short end's gonna go through this right here. I don't think it matters which which way you do it, right? Now, it that, now you need your spring tool that they give you in this kit. And you're gonna actually, tool? see how that's facing right now? No, long, and eh. Gotta turn it over like that. It's gotta be like that, guys. Because it has to come down. So now, I'll show you in a second, Tom. See? Now you're gonna grab it like that. You're gonna pull this, this bad boy down like so, and then try to get the tool out. There you go. Huh. And as you can see, I bent the tool. Oh, well, it's flimsy metal. Yeah. So that's the only time you're gonna need that, is for that. So basically, what it is, is that you're gonna use that to pull it back like that, and then when you put it down, you're going to it helps it keep like it on. That. Yeah, that's it. All right, now we shall go to the next step. Wheels. There's better be not too many left. So you're going to need one of these, which goes over it like this, fits in there. And then a washer. Boom. Then your trusty wheel. Now make sure your wheel has where you're going to put air in it on the outside because that's be stupid if you had it on the inside. Nah, put it on the inside, what could go wrong? Yeah. Then put that on. I'm joking, obviously. Then you're gonna put two washers on here now, like that. You're gonna put your cotter pin through there. Now guys, I didn't bring my screwdriver, but this is where the only part that you're gonna need a flat screwdriver, because you can't use this screwdriver for it. So let me go grab one. Oh, just like that, I have one. Like so what I do with that is, I'm gonna try to, try to put it in there like so, right? Oh. And then it comes out and then you get mad. Put it sideways like that and bend it out. Like that. Oh. And you could take a pair of pliers like this and, oh and then try to, <laughs> it's better to get it like this. Stop doing this to me. If you had needle nose, it'd be even easier. Bend this out like that. Turn it sideways. You can even 
take this one over here if you want and, and bend, it the other bend that one the other way. But again, you would have to hold something. Let's see if I can stop this thing from spinning. There we go. Just like that, guys. All right. And now I can do the other time. Are you forgetting something? Oh, don't forget, guys. You also have a little cap that goes over the end. Make it look nice. Make, make it look nice, nice. Hold it, let me see. Not sure how this thing goes on, so uh, I might have to bend these a little bit further. But you get the idea. You get the idea. This has to go over there. I definitely have to bend that a little bit further to make it round. I think I could do it like this. Like that. Get this like, like that. Put that like that. And. There we go, guys. There you go. I'm gonna do it for the other side. Little hubcaps. Little plastic hubcaps that I'm sure will fall off at some point. More than likely. Yeah. Next and final part, guys, is this. So, you put this here, like this. Put these two bolts through like that. Put two nuts on there, like this. Like this. Tighten these bad boys up. And guess what? Guess what, Tom? What? We'll be just about done. So let me tighten these up and show you the finished product, guys. So guys, it's all done now. So here's what the cart looks like. So when it's on the back of the uh, truck, you can actually pull this forward. Oops. And mark up your deck. And then you just push this back down. That doesn't look too bad. Huh? That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so there you go. There's that. But here's the other thing. Like when we were doing this, Oh, also you have this pin here, right? So when you go to hook it up on your mower, this pin will actually go through here like this. And then you put this little pin through the hole in the bottom, like so. And that'll hold it on the mower. I ordered the bracket that's not in yet. Um, I'm not gonna be using that pin though for it. It comes with a magnetic pin that you can just put through it for easy on and off instead of that. Um, if it's a different size hole, what I'll do is I'll just drill bigger holes in this for that. However, when we were doing this, we're like, we never put the other end on. And then we found out the other end just slides on here like this. So that you can remove it. So, that's a nice little feature you have there. I mean, you can just remove it for the back for easy dumping, especially if it's dirt or if it's mulch, um, instead like of, that. yeah, or firewood, right? You just take that up, Tom, and you can just dump it back and there's the whole load right there. I think it's pretty freaking easy, so, and this is gonna come in handy for a lot of work for Tom to do around the yard, and that's the most important thing, as he gets attacked by a bee. That's why he doesn't like coming outside, guys. Nature doesn't like me. Nature does not, I'm at one with nature. Except for bees. Me and bees don't get along. We have an understanding. No, we don't. I understand, but they don't understand. It's like, stay away from me, but they just keep coming around. They should understand it by now, because if not, squash. Except for I did get stung about two weeks ago, right on my finger. And I wasn't even trying to slap it. It just came up and I went like this and it stung me. I didn't even hit it. it just went right there, stung me. Well, guys, Hope you liked this little video. We put this car together. Um, I'm gonna wheel it over there and turn it on its side so that, well, all the way up. So, sorry about that truck that's going by. So that that way, when it rains today, it doesn't fill up with water. And uh, we have a lot of projects like this going to go on with us. We're, we have a, uh, a shed coming that we're gonna put over there where the lawnmower is sitting right now. And uh, I have to build it. It's all plastic shed. I'm kind of excited about it. It's, going to, it's supposed to come in at the end of October, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, that might be a couple video, because I can't imagine putting that all together in one day. Can you, Tom? No. But you're going to be helping. I'm sure. Till next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button if you liked it. Hit the like button. Also, hit the notifications. <laughs> Until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.
make sure there's no bees in there. 